This episode will include some work updates, trying out new food places, and trying another flavor of the viral ice cream. Hi, I'm Jeffrey, physical therapist for six years, and welcome to Life of a Taiwanese PT Living in Houston. If you haven't noticed, I'm changing up the titles a little bit. All the readings I've been doing has inspired me to format it like a book. I'm 32 years old, so it's going to be chapter 32, and the page number will be the different entries for that age. This is basically my life story, and I'm documenting it through YouTube. With work, we've been transitioning to a new EMR documentation system, and it's called EPIC. And I've used this when I was a student, like seven years ago. So this week, we had a meeting, more training so we can get more familiarized with it and during the meeting they said we should use any downtime or free time to play around with it so to get even more training because right now none of us feel prepared so during my downtime I did get on the playground and that's literally how fast it feels we literally have no time especially if you have a full schedule with some patient updates of course I can't reveal too much HIPAA but I had this Vietnamese older lady that I've been treating. So we were planning on discharging the end of the month. So lately I've been telling her that it's really important to continue the exercises that you've learned here, the ones I've given you, and continue to do them even after discharge. So she goes, and usually we have an interpreter because my Vietnamese, not so good, but I knew what means, which means, oh my God. And I just thought it was pretty funny. I told the interpreter, no need to translate. Later on in the week, I had another patient who I had the plan of taking to a longer walk so we can walk past the hospital and even close to a mall nearby to really practice on gait tolerance. Most people usually like this plan because they like to get out of the clinic a little bit, but my patient refused. She said it was too hot or it was too long of a walk. She knew where this is and she didn't want to do it. I explained to her that it would the walk itself would mostly be indoors and there's lots of places to sit if you needed to take a break. And this is all to work on your activity tolerance so you can be able to have better endurance to be able to do more and be more independent with things. But she wasn't really having it so she basically took my plan and just tossed it out the window. But that's how it is treating neuro patients sometimes. You have a plan and you just gotta scratch it. So you gotta be very flexible, creative and be able to change things up. So we ended up just staying in the gym, doing treadmill walking. We did some more walking around and I talked to her a little bit more and I found out that she had a trip planned coming up next month. And this trip, you had to go to the airport, she was flying and then once she got to the destination, she had some short hikes planned. So I said, then we gotta work on this longer walk for that exact reason. So I convinced her and she agreed to do that long walk next session. During the work week, one weekday night for dinner, my wife cooked up some heat. It was super good. It was basically ground pork with some sliced cucumbers and there's some green onions and she cooked the egg on top. It was just simple, yet packed a bunch of flavors. Delicious. It was so good, I'm so glad there was leftovers because I ate it for lunch the following day at work. Thursday for dinner, I remember that day we were both pretty busy and we just went out to try a new place, an Asian bento place and it's called BAP Bento. It was Korean, I believe, and I overheard the lady saying that BAP is basically rice in Korean. It was pretty good. The meat, I thought it was pretty good, a little bit salty. And I just thought the, the rice portion was too big. I wish there was more vegetables. I know, I never thought I'd be saying that. Then for the weekend, for Friday, Friday night, we made some plans to hang out with my friends Warren and Khan. And they happened to be also be our optometrist. So shout out Glimpse Eye Care. We went to grab some Malaysian food for dinner around Chinatown. I think it's called Sabal Chef. They went there last week, but it was our first time. We thought it was really good. The best dish, for me, was the appetizer, which was the roti kanai, uh, the chicken curry or whatever sauce they had. Man, the chicken was super tender, delicious. The rest of the dishes, pretty good too. Went well with some rice 
and we had a good time. Afterwards, we went to grab some dessert at Meat Fresh. My wife got something and I just ate a little bit of it. I'm not too big on desserts. The following day, on Saturday for lunch, we went back to Keepers and we were there last week. So at this point, they should sponsor us. But we didn't get a bento box this time. We just got a bunch of different sushi rolls, which are some of our favorites. And it was still delicious. I forgot to film the tofu. It was good. After Keepers, there's all these Asian supermarkets close by and we dropped by the 99 Ranch and I couldn't believe my eyes. We saw the viral ice cream again, but this time all three flavors. So we bought all three. Sunday morning, we had our usual HEB run. Lunch, we tried this new Eero place. It's called Eero Republic. And I thought it was okay, but I did like how they had the, the different portion options and there was a super portion, which is, which is big. And I usually like a bigger portion. And the Eero meat was good, a little bit salty. The chicken, a little bit dry. Uh, of course, but you can add sauce on it. But overall, not too bad. I give it like a seven out of 10. I don't know if I'll be going back. Lemon one. It's not that good. The inside is just the ice cream is not bad, but the outside is not as crunchy as the peach one. And right now, after reading Think Again by Adam Grant, which is a great book, now I'm reading How to Know a Person by David Brooks. So stay tuned for some updates as I read a little bit further. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. Thank you guys for watching. And click here to watch last week's vlog. If you haven't already, I talk about my side hustles.